Assalamu alaikum everyone, if you have just started learning AWS and you were charged for running EC2 instance, even if it's considered free tier or any other type of service, don't panic. I have been in these shoes myself, racked up 1k USD two years ago with EC2, then deleted my account and recently came back. Luckily, the support is really good and understandable and will uh, withdraw your charges. Here's what I did. So first thing you do is uh, you go into your AWS account. You choose your region. For me it's Frankfurt because I'm uh, based in uh, Europe. Uh, you should have uh, support or you can write here support. And uh, you can create a case, account and billing, uh, for example, educate, test, test. And when you get to contact us, you should have uh, options here. Now it's web because it's quite late, but you should always take uh, communication, uh, chat with us. Uh, and they're relatively quite responsive essential thing is just to explain uh, quite thoroughly because if you just create uh, a case history like I had here then often or not they don't really answer I had an issue with uh, uh, as I mentioned EC2 and ECS Kubernetes service and uh, they were really helpful uh, in a way that explaining the service throughout but it was just when I decided to chat with them one two other things to note it's really great to create a budget just to know uh, when uh, it uh, reaches a certain threshold for example I create a budget my zero my zero spending uh, and here I type my email recipient before I didn't do that and I got 1k basically and I just yet deleted my account because I got I panicked too much here it is amount used five dollars but it was said that uh, I won't have to actually pay for it but if I like take bills I have zero so it's based on previous uh, budgeting alert and uh, now I have everything removed here mm. as you know yeah, there are a ton of servers I know like uh, VPC you have to pay EC2 you have to pay if it uh, reaches a certain th threshold mm. EKS was my main issue I, I went through the book uh, Docker for developers a really great one want to get as well a different book I can maybe even showcase which one I want to get this one notify you uh, if it's uh, a good read once I start reading it but so far it seems quite uh, promising anyhow And, and you get notifications when you set up the AWS budgeting. No, it still shows global. Because you cannot, if it's like different region, then you wouldn't know if it's yours. And now I'm gonna take. Oh, no, it's gonna always show global, it seems. Before actually, before I had this kind of uh, showcasing my bu uh, bills, it was n now removed. And here is uh, EC uh, NAT gateway, and as well for yeah, EKS Kubernetes. I just left it open for 12 hours, and it was already staked for four dollars overall. So highly suggest uh, create a bu budgeting for uh, fourth and foremost 
uh, to know uh, when uh, some kind of uh, unexpected payments occur. Uh, something is free tier. It doesn't really mean it's uh, throughout free tier. I can show you the conversation I had. And I actually got uh, even called from them after uh, I had this one, I think it was. Yes, if it's like the issue was resolved, I added credit to the fault because I was charged five to twelve five dollars uh, and twenty cents. I asked uh, more specific questions about free tier. These are, are all the free tier services mm, for one year, obviously. Uh, asked particular questions, even gave thorough uh, explanations what they can use. And here are all the free tiers. Really suggest uh, going through these ones uh, not to get into certain uh, issues. But easy to, yeah, it seems 750 S3. So it's uh, like uh, any gigabyte amount. So basically, if upload, uh, yeah, VJ is a React, then it's gonna be fine. Uh, and the number DB. There are quite a lot of options. So I hope you like this video. Cheers.